Well, we think that very well could be the case. You're right. You go back to 1950, three times a year you get a 5% correction. Remember last year how great it was? Stocks up 30%. Two separate 5% corrections. I mean, we weren't shocked. We said about a month ago, you know, multiples are high. People are complacent. There could be some type of 5 to 10% correction. Obviously, coronavirus kicked it off. But, you know, at this time, we think, you know, maybe around 3,000 is kind of where we see some significant support, which would be about a 10% correction. But in Elkdale Research, we still see positives, and we still think this is a bull market. Okay. And this is just normal. Volatility is normal, so expect it. David Riedel, would you be uh, sort of uh, in, you know, putting money to work in a market like this, knowing uh, what's going on with coronavirus, or do you think it's more serious and requires a change in stance? I think it's a little more serious. I think we now have evidence of infection uh, in the U.S. and a concern about a pandemic in China, obviously, and across the EU. So that's your three largest economies in the world that are probably taking a breather. I don't think the market ever properly priced in Brexit as well. So I think they're using this opportunity to rebalance uh, and be ready for, for risk and some, some uh, downturn. We've seen this before with SARS. Uh, it can turn around quite quickly. This one seems to be taking hold. Uh, the, the long gestation period for the, for the virus seems to be scaring some people. And once the CDC says they're getting ready for a pandemic, I think we need to listen. And just as a follow on that, David, what would you do investing wise here? Do you, you know, just move to cash? Do you try to get defensive in some what have been really expensive parts of the market? I mean, look at the bond market. These yields are already at record lows. Yeah, I would still stay defensive, though. I would look for uh, high-yielding high companies. I think I would selectively uh, choose some of the specialty pharmaceutical companies that could benefit from increased focus and spending on, on, on health. Uh, Regeneron and, and uh, Amarin come to mind. Uh, I think there are some opportunities there. Also, I'd look at precious metals. Um, something like PAAS uh, provides some, some uh, protection in the silver space. Uh, I think we do need to get pretty, pretty defensive. The tipping point that we've seen this week was not the one we were looking for where things are getting better, but we're seeing it globally with more cases outside of China than inside of China. That should be worrisome. It's worrisome to consumers. And it should be worrisome to business, businesses and investors as well. Yeah.